7 a.m. on Thursday in New Hampshire. Republican candidate Rick Santorum is up and raring to go. When I was a kid, we, we read Democracy in America. Was he tells a captive audience in a Rotary Club about himself. Part of the grassroots image Santorum hopes will pull him through a state where he's lagging in the polls. With a million new dollars in his pocket after a near win in Iowa, he's hoping to give frontrunner Mitt Romney a run for his money. It's unclear if Santorum has enough cash to stay in the game. Sure. Nice to meet you. Raising a million dollars in one night, that's impressive. Turning that into cash and television and orders and getting spots on the air and staff on the ground, that's a whole different story. This is a logistical challenge. A logistical challenge for anyone up against the financial powerhouse that is Mitt Romney. Over the last year, Romney's poured $17 million into his campaign. Other GOP hopefuls, John Huntsman and Newt Gingrich, crisscrossed the state trying to make a dent in Romney's sizable lead. For Gingrich, the gloves are off. This is going to get ugly the next few days. Uh, I think for Speaker Gingrich, this has become personal. Uh, I think he's not happy about um, the role of Romney in super PACs in Iowa. And I rather suspect we're going to begin seeing that on television pretty quickly here. Gingrich already fired off this ad. Romney's economic plan, timid. Parts of it virtually identical to Obama's failed policy. While the liberal group MoveOn.org put out an ad of their own attacking Romney. Mitt Romney wants to call himself a job creator. Mitt Romney doesn't care about jobs. He cares about money. While Romney had this to say about Obama in a town hall Thursday. This president is a crony capitalist. He's a job killer. A few pot shots at the president. A few handshakes later, Romney flew off to South Carolina for an event down there preparing for what could pose as a bigger challenge for his campaign. In Manchester, New Hampshire, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.